friends, this video on motion in a plane part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 4 before going ahead with part 5. Another important topic which we will discuss is unit vectors. Before that, let us look at equal vectors. What are equal vectors or when will you say that two vectors are equal? Two vectors are said to be equal if they have equal magnitude and they are in the same direction. See, as I already told, when we talk of vector, two things are important. One is magnitude, the other is direction. So when I, when I say that two vectors are equal, that means their magnitudes are equal as well as their direction are equal. Direction are equal in the sense they are in the same direction. Let us suppose these are the two vectors. So we can say that these two vectors have equal magnitude. What will determine the magnitude? The length of this line. So their lengths are same, that means magnitude are same and they both are pointing towards the same direction. So they are equal vectors. If we look at these pair of vectors, even in this case we can see that both are pointing in the same direction and the length of both of them are same. So again these are equal vectors. Now here if we look at this vector, what do we see? We see that however the length might be same but the directions are different. This vector is pointing in this direction whereas this vector is pointing in an other direction. So they are not equal vectors. Now let us discuss what is a unit vector. So before this chapter is basically regarding motion in a plane. That means basically we will discuss about motion in two dimensions. So in order to discuss motion in two dimensions, we should be very clear about the vector quantities. So that is why we are studying vectors in so much of detail. So till half, till almost half the chapter, we will be discussing only about vectors. So once you are very much clear with the knowledge on vectors, only then we will proceed to the scenarios where you will have motion in two dimensions. So let us see what is a unit vector. A unit vector is a unit length vector pointing in a specific direction. What do you mean by unit length? The term unit itself means one. Unit means one. So a vector whose length is one and which points in a particular direction is known as a unit vector. A unit vector does not have any unit. I mean the vector does not have a unit because it is the ratio of two quantities which have the same unit. We will just now see how, how is it that a unit vector does not have a unit. I hope you understand the difference between this unit and this unit. This unit is talking about the units which we use to measure quantities like meter, seconds, kilometer and all such units. It is a dimensionless quantity since it is the ratio of two quantities who, which have similar dimensions. So this quantity that is unit vector does not have any dimension. It is represented by a cap over the letter. Normally how do we represent a unit vector? Let us suppose if A is a unit vector, it is generally represented by a cap over its head. So what is the mathematical expression or how do we know, how do we determine unit vector? Unit vector is generally represented by N, N with a cap over it. This is equal to the value of the vector quantity divided by the magnitude of the vector quantity. Let us suppose we have any vector quantity, say A. So A is a vector. So if I say what would be the unit vector of A, let us say we denote it by this. So that will be equal to the vector A divided by the magnitude of this vector quantity. When I say magnitude, that means we are referring, whenever we put modulus, that means we are talking about only the magnitude, right? And when we represent it without the modulus, that means we are talking of the vector quantity as a whole. So that is why we told that a unit vector does not have a unit and also it is a dimensionless quantity. Another point to be noted here is a scalar multiplied by a unit vector gives a vector. We already discussed this property in the previous, I mean in the previous slides as well where we talked about the fact that whenever a scalar is multiplied by a vector, the result is a vector. So the same is true for a unit vector. If you multiply a unit vector with a scalar, the result will always be a vector. We will not 
we'll now talk about unit vectors along coordinate axis. So coordinate axis is nothing but our x, y, z axis, right? So the unit vectors are denoted by i, j and k respectively along x, y and z axis respectively. That means the unit vector along x axis is denoted by i cap, along y axis denoted by j cap and similarly along z axis it is denoted by k cap. So since they are unit vectors, therefore the magnitude of i, j and k is equal to 1. Also i, j and k are mutually perpendicular because as we know the x, y and z axis are mutually perpendicular to each other, right? So they are mutually perpendicular to each other. Therefore the unit vectors i, j and k are also mutually perpendicular. However in this unit since we will be mostly dealing with two dimensional motion so we will be dealing with mostly i and j unit vectors thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again